Hello, Internet. Recently, I did a vinyl car wrap of my son's hood. This is the first time ever as a do-it-yourselfer that I've done a, a vinyl car wrap. In this video, I will share with you what I've learned. Keep watching. Welcome to Scott's Garage. Welcome literally to my garage. If you like some garage time in your off time, if you like do-it-yourself projects, if you like working on your own car, even a project car, if you like organizing your garage, then Scott's Garage is a place for you. All of my do-it-yourself projects begin here in my garage. Welcome to my channel. Okay, here's the presenting problem. This is a 2010 Toyota Corolla. I've noticed from 2008 through 2011, this is a common problem uh, on these Corollas. The front hood. Uh, obviously, there was a problem in how they originally uh, painted the hoods. The, the, many of them look this way. So the, the, the sun has done its damage, and structurally it's fine, but cosmetically they, they look really bad. Okay, the first lesson, and I learned this a while back, might as well just mask out the, the fenders around it so they don't get scratched. Okay, the second lesson on this project is we tried sanding it out. It didn't work well at all. So we ended up taking off the hood. Lesson three is to apply strong paint stripper, then sand, then prime. Okay, lesson four is to dust the surface before applying the vinyl, very important. Okay, so the vinyl that, that we purchased is 3M uh, Oracle Sizer um, v Vivid, and it is made in Canada. You can see the affiliate link below. Uh, it was reasonably priced, it got a good rating. So what we're gonna do now is just, we're, we're gonna roll it out. I'm gonna allow for, for overlap, and I'm gonna cut it on the far end. Okay, the fifth lesson is that cutting the vinyl is super easy. Just make sure you have a sharp blade. Okay, I purchased this on Amazon. So all the basic tools, so squeegee, uh, knife, so use that knife. And just the basic uh, tools here. You can see the, the affiliate link in the description below. Okay, lesson six. Don't be afraid to remove all the backing once you attach a corner. This stuff is very forgiving. You have plenty of time. If it doesn't quite stick correctly, just pull it up and it's really easy to work with. Okay, lesson seven. What worked for us is starting at the top and then working our way down, just making an arc, just kind of arcing it across on both sides. It worked really well. Okay, lesson eight. If you have a heat gun, just use it for the edges. It really has a great way of shrinking the, the wrap and, and pulling it tight. Okay, I'm going to start cutting here. I have my blade, it's a fresh blade, and just barely, just this out just one notch, and I'm going to um, get it underneath.
Okay, here's the final product for now. From a distance, it looks great. So much better than it did before. As you get closer though, you can see that, that we made a mistake. We did not prep the, the paint below good enough. We didn't take enough paint off. We should have stripped all of it. I wasn't sure how much the vinyl would hide. And the answer is it doesn't hide much. So you're gonna to wanna to prep it better than, than what we did. The clouds are kind of reflecting through here, but uh, where we took it down the bare metal looks really good. But where we didn't, it, it uh, almost looks like the continents, you know, this is the ocean where we prepped it and where we didn't. Uh, you, you can see that. Uh, and I'm not satisfied. I, I plan on taking this off, the vinyl off. We have plenty of vinyl and I will get more paint stripper and, and just get everything perfectly. Uh, but my son's satisfied for now. And I hope you got some value from this video. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, I would not be afraid uh, to vinyl wrap a car. We'll probably wrap the whole car eventually. Uh, hopefully you can learn from me doing it for the very first time and even learn from my mistakes. If you got any value at all from this video, please give me a like. It costs you nothing, but is of great value to me. If you're not subscribed to Scott's Garage, uh, please subscribe. And as usual, have a great day.